Hi guys and welcome to this episode on dbscan in Python. As a quick reminder of dbscan, the objective is to take data like so and end up with something like this, where we identify clusters and noise points. We start off by importing some general libraries, such as pandas, so that we can read our data and make some data frame manipulations, seaborn and matplotlib for plots and numpy for array operations. We can run this here. The first step is to read and explore our data. We read our data using the read TSV function from the pandas library. And then we can check the shape by using the shape function. So we have 159 rows and seven columns. We can view the first few rows of our data frame by making use of the head function. We can run this here and we can see that we have different species of fish and different measurements of the fish. In this case, we're just going to focus on the height and width of different fish so that we can visualize our results. So we extract the height and the width and we produce a scatter plot using the Seaborn library. So from this plot here, I can identify maybe at least five dense clusters. Before we implement dbscan, in the previous episode, we discussed that dbscan has two parameters, min points and epsilon. As a general rule, we select min points to be two times the number of dimensions of our data frame. And when we have a two dimensional data set, we set the min points to be four. For epsilon, we plot the distance each data point is away to its k nearest neighbor k in this case being the number of min points. We then select the epsilon value that is located at the elbow of the plot. This indicates a distance by going beyond this distance, the epsilon value could be overlapping with a different cluster. So in this piece of code here, we import the nearest neighbors algorithm, we set the number of neighbors to four, and we fit the nearest neighbors algorithm to our data frame. We then extract the distances and indices of our different data points. We sort our distances in ascending order and extract the distances to our fourth nearest neighbor. And lastly, we make a plot. So we can run this here. Looking at this plot, it's difficult to identify where the elbow is, but we can say that it is roughly at 0.5. Now that we have the min points in epsilon selected, we can apply the dbscan algorithm to our fish data. So we import dbscan from the scikit-learn library. We set our parameters and fit the algorithm to our data frame. We then extract the cluster labels and add it to our data frame. Next, we produce a scatter plot color coding our different clusters. We can run this here. And we can see here that we have eight different clusters with the blue points being classified as noise. We can briefly explore these clusters. We first obtain the mean height and width of each cluster. We obtain the number of points in each cluster. We add the number of points to our initial data frame that contains the mean height and width. We rename the columns and display the data frame. We can run this here. And for each cluster, we can see the mean height, mean width and count. So we can make conclusions such as the fish in cluster six have the lowest mean height and mean width. Cluster four has the smallest number of fish and 39 points were classified as noise. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you learned something new.